act after the election. Up. Stock markets usually oh. go up no matter who wins the vote, Republicans or Democrats. Historically, from 1929 to 2019, when one party controlled both chambers of Congress and the White House, in 45 of those years, the S&P 500 has risen nearly 7.5%. Index up 30 times, down 15 times. Now, in the other 46 years, when there was a split government, the index also gaining up seven and a quarter percent, rising 29 times, falling 16 times. So how will the stock market perform for the rest of this year heading into the new inauguration? Well, from election night to inauguration, usually uneventful. But there is a but here. The past two presidencies defy that rule. So President Trump's surprise victory in 2016 saw the S&P 500 jump over 6 percent from election night to inauguration as investors woke up to his tax cutting and spending plans in the White House. Now, in 2008, 2008, Obama's victory to inauguration saw a drop of 20%. However, that was an outlier because it was during That's the right. financial crisis and the collapse of Lehman Brothers. So, an exception. Another outlier was back in 2000, Gore versus Bush. Sure, the delay. Yes, hanging chads. As a, as a result, we saw the S&P fall 6%. My opinion, I know you're dying to hear it. Of course. If we, <laughs> if we get a clean sweep, yeah. the Democrats run the House. So White House and the Senate, if that happens, I think the market goes down. I Big disagree time. because I think people will factor in spending. And I think no matter who wins right now, I think uh, the stock market is expecting some sort of stimulus regardless. Okay, I hear you. And you're wrong. But no, no, that, <laughs> apart from that. I'm right. <laughs> no, happy Friday. And happy Friday.